Hello. Well, um, today I'm going to continue working on Outpost and um, the plan I have is to add a new enemy. I have a sprite here that I just draw. I haven't tried and not sure how it's going to look. Um, which is actually right so it is six frames and um, yeah I was thinking about it about this um, I'm going to just have the six frames um, I don't have any any function currently to bleed um, the sprite mirroring uh, on the fly or by using a table or anything like that um, and for now, I'm not going to implement that because I'm not completely sure how many enemies like this I'm going to have, and it is possible that it's just not worth it, uh, you know, because it's going to use CPU, it's going to be a little bit slower, um, it requires a table probably uh, just 256 bytes plus extra code, plus complexity, and and I don't know. For now, I, I don't feel like doing that. So I'm just going to keep the six frames, uh, which is OK for now. I mean, it may be OK. And I meant, I mean, there's chances that I don't need to change that. Uh, but um, yeah, for now, that's how it is. So. Uh, the first thing I need to do is because I haven't prepared anything is uh, the new alien to the code which is going to call alien3 which I I think eventually this is going to be a problem because I'm not going to remember which alien is each to be honest <laughs> but yeah but it's probably faster to get started instead of trying to remember, you know, finding names and remember why the silly name I put for that enemy makes sense. Mm. So for now I'm going to call them alien with a number. Um, so this is going to be 0, 1, 2 and it's 6 frames and so they follow the same pattern is going to be 0, 1, 2, then this is 3, or 5 is going to be 5, 4, 3. So it's the same. So it's going to be 5. Or thing, and I'm changing the wrong one. Brilliant. Okay, so it's five, four, three, one, five, four, three. Right. Okay. So that would generate the the include file. We can run it actually. So this generates and it goes to a, a filter called generated uh, alien3, which is basically, I mean, I do this everywhere and I don't think I have explained this. Ooh, you don't know that the space? Hmm, that looks ugly. <laughs> yes. Shall we change that? I don't like it. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, so this is in tools PNG to sprite. Well, this is actually quite old code, I believe. So oh, did I write this like that? That's that's pretty really ugly. Okay. Sorry. 
Ok, aspetta. E non li do sempre. Vale. So, okay, so this generates an include file, and the include file has this shape. And it's basically what I'm doing is if a local is defined, um, I include the actual data, otherwise, it's a ref extend, extend reference, extend reference. So this is just to deal with a uh, quirkiness we see when you deal with uh, with uh, global variables. So basically, I want to include this include file with a definition to use everywhere, but it can only be defined once in reality. Everywhere else has to be external. So, for example, eh, I use that everywhere. For example, I use local here. Uh, so in the C file, which is a module according to SDC, SDCC, and I'm not sure, it's probably the same in, in other C compilers, is local is defined, it will include, you know, it will actually reserve memory for these variables, otherwise it will be defined as extern, so it will be just a reference. Um, so it means that in data.c, no, actually, <laughs> not in there, I have a fast data because this is a sprite and it's going to be used uh, uh, when I'm drawing a sprite and I, want, I don't want it to use contended memory. So I have this segment here uh, that is defined in here d0 is it defining there mm. no oh no it really doesn't uh, no it doesn't need to be defined at all because I'm just using this to let the linker put things later so so if we look at the map and then we look for fast d. Fast d starts in you know past the end of the contented memory, so that's perfect. And oh, what happened? Hmm. And anything else? Uh, yeah, I think I have a cable to touching the HDMI. Anyway, I just lost my screen, but it's back. Right, so yeah, it's just a trick to, to get things out of content memory. So now, because local is defined here, uh, the data will be included. So this value now should be down because I'm actually, yeah, so it's going down because now the sprite is included right so the enemy i wanted to uh have a special behavior so well i need to do a lot of things i need to do uh, a, i need to add the new entity to the map so it's going to be here so the configuration of the, of the map importer so it's going to be alien 3 and the weight is going to be two. Uh, and this is not being used, should be one. So W is what I use to count the weight in entities. So one alien, alien one uses one entity, alien two uses one entity, and alien three is going to use two entities because it will be, it can actually shoot, it can has a blaster or whatever, you know. A projectile. So that's another ex sprite. And being another sprite, you know, uh, when I say in when I'm 
converting the map somewhere uh, here I say that each room has a limit of seven entities and that is because I have eight entities in total and actually I need to add the alien trick here so okay and also we need to add the map the one alien on the map so we go to tile in here and select this one and we probably don't need these two for the test and this one can be alien three and the trick I'm going to use here is, is that I'm going to reuse <coughs> the code of alien one which is the one that moves with the fixed uh, pattern um, so this is going to move horizontally and we don't need the attribute we're not going to use it so I'm going to remove it right so that should be okay I think and right so now I need to have um, a new version of well I can just no, let's copy that let's open here and we're going to copy alien 1 to be alien 3 and now we're going to change some numbers here so this is going to be alien 3 and it's not going to have it's going to have update yeah it's going to have update draw and erase so this is going to be the same it's just that we I want to reuse the logic of the first alien so I'm going to copy this although we're going to use more today so so we need to include of alien 3 uh, but we also need to include the of alien 1 because we're going to reuse part of the functionality and the data of the sprite is going to be alien 3 so this is going to be, going to be alien 3 but it's going to call alien 2 and this we don't need it because it's just what we call it in there so it's going to be alien 3 alien 3 the only thing that is going to be different is because we're not going to use the attribute so because we're going to use that extra um, fill in the structure for something else so the color of this one can be for example red and I'm going to close the editor I need to investigate why that happens um, because the formatting gets funny um, and I think it's when I edit something in Python my Python configuration seems to be wrong because it starts formatting wrong uh, instead of you know handling this properly when I type anyway so this should so looking at alien one so this code would be wrong when we call this no sorry alien one so it, it should do the same behavior move horizontally i don't think i'm going to use vertically for this uh considering the sprite i'm using uh but it really doesn't matter um so in here we only use extra for the color of the sprite uh, well this actually has to be alien 3 um, that should be okay yeah and another thing that is going to be different is that the direction is going to be important so it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be important 
what is this flag actually but we can do that later right so in game we need to add another alien and it's going to be alien three uh, here so we don't have the attribute so it's going to be only three bytes and it's going to be three three and three and we need to use the table um, we might do it i might do it today i did change finally right so it doesn't compile because in here we need to include alien three So if I didn't break anything, which I did, hmm. Oh, because yeah, okay. So I was copying Alien Two. So Alien Two was uh, has one extra byte because of the uh, attribute, but. Alien 3 is exactly as Alien 1, not as Alien. Sorry, I'm copying the wrong Alien. So we need to use this and not the attribute. So this is going to be the same. Mm, let me think. Okay, so there's something we can do. You know, these are going to be the same, right? So, Ali 1 and Ali 3 are going to be the same. So, we can take this with us. And in here, we can. Doesn't. Is, is it worth. Nah, it's not going to look clean. <laughs> Who? What's going on? It's not going to look clean. So what I'm going to do is just going to copy this. And so it's going to be one extra byte because it's going to have um, it's going to have uh, how many ties we're going to move, which is this here. And the question is, yeah, okay, we can keep vertical and horizontal. I don't know how it's going to look, but we can keep it. And we're not using extra, but it's okay. Uh, well, okay, it's going moving backwards. So that's how it moves now. Uh, actually, um, let's take a look how it looks with. Uh, It's going to look bad, but no, why not? Just a test. I don't think you're going to like it, but I think uh, it doesn't look bad. It's always going to be facing one side, right? And that's not going to be ideal. So I need to move it out for now. Yeah, because even if I use that, um, it means that I will need to have a way of of setting on the map if I want um, the alien to look left or right. Um, so currently, the one that moves horizontally, 
starts. Okay, because we are not in quite that direction yet. Right, so the frame is going to be whatever is the frame plus um, let's look at the alien one. So if the direction flag is set, if the direction flag is set, then it's going to be three frames, right? So if it's set, we move to the right. No. If it's not set, then OK. So if it's set, it's 0. And if it's not set, it's going to be blah, 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 three frames. And that should make it. Ooh, what? Oh, it looks cool, actually. <laughs> no, that's not right. Uh, and why that's not right? Um, that's not right because do we do I have the flags in here? So flags, flags is always incrementing. Then the direction flux is telling me if I need to increment or decrement x or, or y. So it's going to be work for, for both, which is not great. Oh, it could be okay. It could be moving down is facing right, moving up is facing left. That's not bad, actually. That could be interesting behavior. Uh, so what's wrong here? Um, it's because of this. Maybe it's something about I don't know. This should be okay, right? So hmm, I need to add parentheses because I'm not sure. Yeah, it was the parenthesis. Okay, so now it's doing what it needs to be doing. Um, and it's quite cheap because it's actually behaving as the other that we had already. So, so far so good. And the sprite looks okay, actually. Maybe ah, it's okay for now. I'm going to leave it like that. Right. So that's the basic stuff I wanted to do. Uh, but now what I want to do is quite a lot. Right. So we're going to need an enemy projectile and. I have a blaster here already. Mm. Wow, this does a, has a lot of stuff to do. Um, but we could be sharing a good chunk of code, I think. So. So it can be the same draw and erase code. It could be the same sprite. Um, although I mentioned with this, it wouldn't be too expensive anyway. But let's say that we use the same one. Actually, moving the frame forward, we could be using the same code. 
while having a different sprite. Let's use the same one for now. So, blast a new. This has. Why is actually. What is this doing? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, so entity zero is the player, basically. So depending on what the player is facing, yeah, I mean, we're looking for some limits. If we are out of limit, we shoot the we play the song, but we don't show the blaster. Um, and if we are within limits, then get a new entity. We set up this, which is doing the main copy is faster than and it uses less space than setting up values and then we initialize some stuff and because this is a sure an exclusive or engine we need to draw out of band the sprite so it is erased at the end of this loop so I believe we need to do exactly the same could it be how, how the same has to be could be pretty much the same I just need to tell which entity is the one that is actually creating the blaster. And then the update is the one that is going to change. So mm, so the player is an entity but it's hard coded to be the first one always and in entities wow this is a lot of assembler already <laughs> okay so with date entities oh I don't know it's it is self is pointing at the current entity okay so what if when we update in the player what if we say that self is this and here in blaster instead of using entities zero is no it's not worth it it's not worth it because the height is going to be different so yeah did I say yeah no I didn't Right, so I guess there's not much we can do differently here, right? So let's do it and then when it was working we don't think if we like it. So so blaster let's call e blaster as a, in enemy and update and is going to the same No, erase and draw is going to be the same as the update enemy. And here, blast a new enemy. So, this check, is this check useful? Probably not. I will regret that when it, that <laughs> it crashes somehow. So, 
So we copy to the new entity. Pa, 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 pa. It's going to be e blaster, and then this is going to be equal to it itself, right? And yeah, I think it's going to be the same. Pointer. So the X is going to be like that, and then this. Uh, this is sixteen plus sixteen, so let's use four, more or less. Let's take a look to the sprite. So this is three. Let me think. No, we don't need to do anything because the blast the, the blaster sprite is actually eight pixels uh, tall. So that means that we don't need to add anything here. Right, so direction is going to be the same. So and this is not actually right. It's going to be clear flat. Is it? Yeah, the flat. Left or right? Yeah, we can use that forever. So this is the flag as well. We can use that even if it's moving uh, vertically, I think. We'll see. <laughs> right, so this is the same. Doesn't change. Keep the same sound. Right, so this is the same, but now we need to add blaster update enemy. That is going to be it's going to be this blaster update. I will need to think because um, I mean, obviously, if this code, this code is going to be exactly the same, right? So, what we're going to be doing is here something like this. Um, so, place to take common, right? And this looks great, so we can do this. Right. And blaster here, we need to do blaster new enemy. And blast to the enemy. And we will do it together. Yeah. Right. So let's go to the alien. Alien three. Then we need to know about the blaster, right? And we don't need. And in here, um, so we know that. Okay, let me think. Um, pop, 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 pop. Can this be destroyed here? No. Can be destroyed by a blast in a different place, not in here. So it means that we can always check here 
So we know that, sorry. Extra. So we know that if the extra is bigger, or, or no, if it's less so, um, score cool out or let's say is thirty two, no, sixty four. 32, maybe too much. So, it's less the enemy hold down. Otherwise, here we put the code that is going to do the blaster. So, let's make it just fire. Uh, so, Blaster new enemy, just like that. Let's make it fire. Oh, and then reset the call now. Kind of. <laughs> well, it kind of works, right? Not exactly. So, so this is probably too low. Start with. Although I, I will make it fire the, the player, not, but for now it's a good test. So, oh, problem, because I think in flags here, the update common, actually I was looking at the wrong code, this is not the one. This is the one, but I think because the common is using the flags from the point of view of the player, so this has to be, <laughs> this is not nice, but um, maybe something like that. Okay, let's use the I'm not completely sure about that. But okay, so what I'm doing wrong here? Oh, sorry. It's because, yeah, it's using the flags differently. So. Oh, nice. Okay, looks like he's doing the right thing. Almost. So, this is going to be 10 minus, minus 10. 10 is actually a good value. Let's do it. No. So, with the player is 10 and minus 10? What? Okay, so if it's looking. So, the flag is set is looking right. So, if it's looking right, it should be surely like 14 or 16. And. 16 is here. It's more like this, right? Okay. 
No, maybe not 16, maybe 14, uh, but that's looking okay. Um, so one thing that the blaster is not doing is um, what the alien tree is doing, web, and the other one actually, web here is check for player this one and we can do it uh, in here and do we check for point before checking for the player let's do this and then we do the player hit oh man I'm just editing the one that is not again see that's why that's one problem of copy and paste guys don't do copy and paste so place blaster update common blaster update Blaster update enemy. So I can I can do the the go do the thing I was going to do. Uh, anyway, so we hit the player, then this. And do we need to put return? Let's make it clear just in case we write something later and it doesn't work. Uh, all right, so if it explodes, no, 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 so explosion and this is ah oh, this is when we hit an enemy but we want to do impact which is this too right much better so yeah because when we hit an enemy uh, we had another sprite mod and another entity so what I do is I just mark the blaster as in use and I convert the other sprite into an explosion because the other sprite is the one that explodes, no the blaster. And then I erase the blaster and go out. But in this case, it's equivalent to hitting a wall like this. So we hit a wall, we convert the actual blaster in a impact we make the sound of the impact although to be honest we are not going to hear that because player hit will have preference so let's do it like this and it's less cold which is perfect see and it's the sound of hitting the player. Okay. Now, um, it's not bad. But this is not exactly what we want. So we only want to fire if. Uh, 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 If so, so if the duration flag is set, that means we are 
looking right. So if you're looking right and and no, I was n to the zero x is bigger than our x. So oops, sorry, this is going to be one case or or not this and and this x is less than this. If all this is true, then fire. So, it should fire. It's not working at all. <laughs> I know why. <laughs> Uh, the y of the player is not the y of entities here. It should be plus 8, isn't it? Oh no 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 no! When adding to the wrong one, it's the other one. Okay, which is not good. I don't like this like that because it basically, yeah, trigger happy. Yeah. Okay, so if we're here, it's not going to shoot us. If we are on the back, it's not going to shoot us. Uh, okay, it's not bad. Give me. Give me more. Um, it's not the first. The first shoot is kind of. It looks like it fires before it turns, right? Mm, about. Yeah, it's about the same, but. Mm, 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 mm. How can we improve that? So it's not just shooting after. Um, so we know if it just turns. When it turns, it does that, right? So, so, another one, which is Oh man, if this is not zero, and then let's change the order of things here because it's probably more efficient if we check the Y first, right? Before doing all the Jumbo Jimbo. Okay, so if he has. If he has just turned, it, this will be zero, so it won't fire. So it will be the next frame. Um, 
then we need to check that we are in line with the y and then all the direction stuff right that should now we broke it what <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, you're so powerful. Changing a variable inside of it. Okay, this is slightly better, which is still. No, it's not having any effect whatsoever. Mm -mm -mm. Because it's not this. Pink is creating the flag. So it's the opposite. And I'm just keeping the, the flag. No. No, it's not working. So, clean the file is to be 128. Okay, so what if we wait a little bit longer? So, maybe. Maybe this. Is bigger than two, for example. Oh, nice. better, right? Now it turns and then the fire. Actually, it could be even nicer if we make it. Larger, larger, for example, a little bit more. So it kind of pretends that you know the alien needs some time to actually see you. Although, you know, the cool down. Yeah, much better. I mean, it's not a lot. I think this enemy looks nice. It's quite you're happy. <laughs> I mean ideally <laughs> Ooh no 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 there's something wrong here. The player was dead. So, yet another flag. This is going to be expensive. Very expensive. Shouldn't fire again because we're dead. Right, okay. Seems to be working. Maybe. Yeah, it works. It's not fire again. Cool. 
So I think this is about right. Um, one thing I usually like to do instead of, I guess this is fine, but you could be calculating the, the you know, you probably want to check that, uh, like a, a range difference, like it doesn't have to be in range, but about to get in range to actually activate the laser or the blaster or the projectile or whatever it is. That usually works better and makes things nicer when you're playing, although it's as well a little bit harder. Uh, now, this here, uh, I think it's fine. This looks okay. I mean, I will review this later on, maybe. Uh, but I think this it looks okay. You know, all things considered, it's not too bad. Okay, let's take a look how it looks uh, in the vertical one. Something like this, for example. Maybe not like that. Yes. And let's see if it works at all. I didn't have plan to support this case, but look at the code. It may even work. Never going to see it, right? Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> okay, it works. Kind of. So, no change. So, it's now facing the other side. So, no. Oh, it's because can't see us because of the delay. Hello? Okay, cool, that was quick. Yeah, the delay we put when it turns around, it prevents the, the alien. So when it's getting to the point where it's going to turn, it can't see us. But if it's when it's arriving to that point, it won't work. So uh, the other way around, sorry. If it just turns, it won't be able to shoot. If it turns, it won't shoot. Mm. What a shame. It means that we need to change this a little bit. Maybe three. Now. Well, I really like the effect when it's vertical. So, what can we do here? So, we know that this this, if this is not set, well, if this is set, it's going to be horizontal, right? So we could be saying, if this is set, then this. Otherwise, not. Uh, no, because this is not set now. Is it really worth it? 
maybe it's not worth it at all. So it definitely looks nicer when no. So that's not it. It's not. And it looks not as nice. So I'm going to keep it. Um, and then it's just about investigating why why this is not working when it's turning around, right? So oh, I see. I think it's because this is probably not in the right place. Wait a minute. So it's because it moves after changing direction. If we change direction after moving, this is going to have a better effect at, in general, I think. Not only for this enemy, it's going to improve the other one as well. Now, it's changing now one. <laughs> it's changing too late. Ah, damn it. So I don't know, really. I thought that maybe we changing the flag. And then we move in. Yeah, that's about right. So now I think I can just I don't need this and it won't be as aggressive and turn it around, right? No, <laughs> it doesn't help at all. It looks awful. So we still need that, but maybe not that much, like half of it. Otherwise, I just it's just about changing the the check. I guess anyone playing this will expect. Like it, it was firing there, it will expect that you know the enemy when it turns, it can actually see you, right? So, anyway, I think this change is fine. So, Was a change of direction, yeah. And here, this is just about adjusting this, I think. And that's it. Do I have something already in here? Ah, oh, look at this. I have it already. Amazing. So, so we we'll have a very efficient here. Absolute subtraction, and it has to be uh, 
plus eight. This has to be smaller than four. I think. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Do I need to import that? Import. Sorry. Include. I'm doing too much scala lately. I don't know what programming language I'm using anymore. Now, no fire. This one is it is. Well, there must be something else. Why is no fire? What's wrong with me, man? This way works. The other way doesn't. Hmm. Anyway, I think this is fine. So the difference between X and Y. So between the entity and the player is to be less than four. Let's make it bigger. Less than a tile. I don't want it to be too much because otherwise it's going to fire too quick. Ooh, in the face. That works. So I guess if I'm here. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's not going to check obstacles, right? I think it's fine. I like it. I'm going to keep it. So I think this is going to be all for today. I got what I wanted. And so I have my new alien. Um, So is fix button shooter. So we added that sprite map information we don't care about map configuration. The code of the alien, which is not too messy. I mean, it's not a lot. Maybe we can I can improve this a little bit, but otherwise. This looks fine, and we have enemy blaster that we can use with any enemies. So I guess we need more enemies that shoot. That looks okay. Uh, yeah, I, I removed some checks here, but I think it's okay because that check is preventing is preventing the player from shooting when it's too close to the border of the screen and there is no space to actually draw the blast you know the the reptile so it's probably why you know in here it doesn't make sense because the player will be out of the screen and that's not going to happen so we'll reuse some code over there compression here and then you alien and next time you know I, I will add a table this is getting a little bit silly now cool alien 3 okay well i guess that is all for today a little bit longer than the 45 minutes i was expecting but i think uh yeah i wanted to fix that and i'm quite happy with the new enemy it looks nice, it feels nice, it feels nice, and hopefully it will be fun uh, to play the game with this enemy uh, on it. So, 
that's all for today hope you enjoyed the video uh, like subscribe <laughs> and uh, see you next time bye